quickly fades. Got a wetland over on one side. It's like a former marsh in the final stages of becoming a sedge meadow or something. Now we're on a southerly Wellesley Town Forest is a item in its own right. All manner of interesting features. Oh, it's a big old floodplain hemlock looks like. They get pretty big around here. Ah. We're out of variance. Let's see what it says. Charles River Link Trails heading this way. And that's some other trail we'll find another day. Oh yeah. Here's an Eskerish looking thing. Kind of a broad one. the crest looking over that soon to be sedge meadow thing if it isn't already one looking back at where we came from before long it'll be time for a glance at my collection of flimsy maps to determine where I want to land Down we go again. And we're off. Looking back down the side of the Esker. This charming old oakish thing. And down the forward side. The way we're heading. some kind of bug buzz now begins to replace the roar of motorists on the trail heads in a jog westish kinda it's like this is a meeting point for several of Wellesley's trails quite a few of them on this little Plinth. And off we go. We're coming to more of an upland situation. Little bits of spindly scrub white pines without much of a chance of proliferation. And the characteristic sort of oaky things that one encounters. Ooh, looks like we're at an important divergence. 
the Wellesley Red Charles River Trail thingy, yeah, they have a different name for it, is veering off kind of southish while the Link Trail appears to be heading on a continuing westerly trend, now a part of, I think it's the Guernsey Trail, but I'm not sure. Whoa, it's the convenient fallen log for me to sit and figure out the lay of the land. Love these things. Nature provides. And there's where we came from. Eventually, all the way back to Riverside Station. 